guys, this is Kristen at Cooking in the County and today is a very exciting day. We are going to be doing a scalloped potato, but this is also collaboration video. I am being part of a collaboration with three other YouTube channels and we're all making a potato dish. I chose to do a scallop potato. So here's a list of ingredients you're going to need to do the scallop potato. You're going to need three pounds of russet potatoes, a half an onion, half a stick of butter, one fourth cup of flour, two cups of milk at room temperature, two cups of sharp cheddar cheese, hot sauce, salt, pepper, garlic, and a chicken bouillon. Okay, so we have some housekeeping we need to take care of. Like I said, this video is part of a collaboration with three other YouTube channels. Uh, the Farming Pastor's Wife is a YouTube channel that I have been watching for about six months. Um, she does devotion, she does cooking, she does grocery hauls, she has a farm, she has chickens. Her and her husband do a lot together on this video as well. He's the pastor. Um, but just something about the name. about the name that drew me and when I started watching the videos I really couldn't stop. So about a month ago I reached out to her just asking her for some tips. If she had any ideas for me she gave me great tips, great ideas, but then also invited me to do this potato collaboration with um, two other videos, two other YouTubers just like her. And they're new and to the YouTube channel just as I am. So I felt like that was very nice of her to do this for the three of us. So, I'm gonna ask you to please go visit each and one of these channels, like, subscribe, watch their videos, comment. I really think you're going to enjoy them. So the first one is the farming pastor's wife, her name is Leslie, and she's gonna be making a twice baked potato casserole, which I know is gonna be absolutely delicious. The second YouTube channel that's going to be doing the collaboration is the Art of Creation Homestead and they're going to make cracked potatoes and I know those are going to be really delicious as well. And the third one is Super, like soup, spelled like Super at 60 and she's going to be making, I had to look because I keep forgetting what she's making, it's going to be bacon potato cheese nests. I think those are going to be really interesting and I cannot wait to see those. So I really hope that you will go to each one of these channels. The, um, the Art of Creation Homestead, they live in the suburbs, but they do gardening, like in plants, raised beds, and they do recipes with all the food that they grow, which I think is awesome. And they have chickens too. And they do devotions as well. And then the Super at 60, she does, um, she has some devotions and she does um, cooking recipes and she's going to be doing a virtual tea party. How cute is that? I wish I would have thought of that. And I think that you guys will really enjoy those. I'm going to have all their links down in the description below. So please, please, please visit those and subscribe to their channels and really help them out, really help and support them. One more thing I want to share with you is uh, there's a, a college student that I have known since she was in pre-K. She's very good friends with my daughter and she has started a little business um, Remy Rags Boutique she makes the cutest dog bandanas and hair ponies that match your dog's bandanas how cute is that the quality of these are so good she did such an amazing job she has all different fabrics all different sizes and I'll show you some pictures of my dogs so those are the most adorable things on the planet please go visit her little Facebook page and help this little starving <laughs> college student out. Thanks. Okay guys, somehow I know this video is gonna be a good video. You know why? Because I have done over 50 videos and never ever once have I accidentally um, erased any of my video that I have done. So this yesterday I did this whole entire video. I went to edit it today and somehow, I don't even know how I did it, I erased the beginning of this video. 
So I was very upset about it. And I almost was just gonna call, uh, text Leslie and tell her, you know, I'm not gonna be part of it. It's too much, too much work. It's not gonna be good. It's gonna look choppy, but he's, but you know what? I'm gonna do this video. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that get me down. I know this is gonna be a good video. So if half of the video, I look a little different in it, that is gonna be why. But I did go wash the same outfit and now I'm wearing the same outfit I wore yesterday just so it will look somewhat seamless. So the reason why you're here is to watch me how to make a scalloped potato. So that's what we're gonna do. The first thing we're going to do is peel three pounds of potatoes. Now for this recipe, I wanna use russet potatoes because I feel like they're a little more sturdy, okay? But you choose a potato you want, okay? So also, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I peel my potatoes before I rinse them. I only do that because I feel like they're too slippery and they're hard to keep a hold of. Um, please excuse my dogs. They're gonna bark through almost every video I have. I've tried everything I can, not much I can do, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna peel them first, then I'm gonna rinse them, then I'm gonna cut them up, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna cut our potatoes up. If I have a lot of potatoes to cut up, I like to put them in cold water as I cut them up, just so they don't turn brown. They might not turn brown, but just in case. So let's move this so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna cut these as pretty thin as possible. That's about as thin as I'm gonna try to get them, okay? So I'm gonna chop these all up and get them in the water. Okay, this water is still really murky because some of the starches are coming out and I'm gonna rinse this again in some really cold water, okay? We'll get some fresh water in it. Okay, so we have just enough water to cover our potatoes. And a lot of people add salt to their water. I add a chicken bouillon. I feel like that flakes it really well and I do this with my mashed potatoes as well. So I just throw that in there like that. And we are going to boil these potatoes, cold water, bullion potatoes, on the stove for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, while our potatoes are boiling, we are going to shred our cheese. I really enjoy shredding my own cheese. I feel like it tastes so much better. I know it does take a little more time than just opening up a bag of cheese, but it just tastes so much yummier. Okay, so this is an eight ounce. So we're just gonna shred that. I'm 
Okay, and then one last for me. Mm. Cheese and coffee, my favorite thing in the world. But, done with that. Next thing we're gonna do is cut up an onion. I say a half onion, this is pretty small and I've already used some of it. So, I cut up my onion pretty small for this. I cut my onion up pretty small for just about anything. So, I'll just cut this up as small as I can. You definitely need the onion in this though. You definitely need the flavor. If you really, really, really hate onions so bad, try onion powder, okay? Just so you can have that onion flavor, okay? Okay, looks like our potatoes are gonna start to boil, so I'm gonna time them for 10 minutes. Okay. These onions are gonna cook down. Not too strong today. Usually they make me cry, but they're not making me cry today. So not too too strong. Okay, it's good enough. And get a saucepan. Okay, I lied. The onions are getting to me. They're making my eyes water. Ooh, I'm not crying. It's just the onions. Okay, taters are starting to boil. I'm just gonna mix that bouillon up just a smidge so it dissolves really good. Okay, make sure you um, preheat your oven to 350 degrees, okay? The oven just said it was up to heat, so it reminded me to remind you. Okay, in a saucepan, we are going to make a roux, okay? All a roux is is butter, flour, and milk, okay? So it's a thickening agent, okay? Half a stick of butter. I'll let that melt. And to that stick of butter, I'm adding all of these onions. We're gonna try to get them to cook down just a smidge. Now I'm sure this isn't how you're supposed to do a normal roux. This is just how I do it, okay guys? I, I really taught myself how to cook, so this is how I'm teaching myself, okay? I want the onions in here, but I want them cooked some, so I'm gonna put them with that butter and let them just get translucent, and then we're gonna add the flour and the milk. Once again, if you've watched any of my videos whatsoever, if I add any milk to any hot pans or whatever, I like to heat up my milk just a little bit in the microwave just so it's not cold because I always am concerned it's gonna get curdled. Okay, maybe it won't, but it just concerns me. So I am going to warm up my milk while we're waiting for the onions and the butter. Okay, starting to melt. I'm going to add, I call this my house seasoning. It's an all purpose seasoning. I have a video on this if you'd like to learn how to make it, really simple. One cup of um, salt, one fourth cup black pepper, one fourth cup uh, garlic powder. And I just put it in a big container and I use it pretty much on everything that I am cooking. Okay. So, my um, onions are doing really well. So I am now adding one fourth cup of flour, right in there. We're gonna cook that for about a minute. We wanna get the um, flour cooked up. So I'm gonna turn this heat down just a little bit. Get a whisk. And I have two cups of milk that I've warmed up just a little bit in the microwave, just so it's not cold, 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 okay? So I am gonna add this very slowly, a little at a time. Whisk it in. It's 
scrape anything off the bottom. It's gonna get wicked, wicked thick, okay? As you can tell, I am probably from Maine or from Canada. <laughs> I say wicked a lot. We are like extremely Northern Maine. So I think a lot of our food is influenced by Canada because Canada is so close to us. Okay. Okay, that is mixing up wonderfully. So I'm gonna finish this. And our potatoes are almost done and we are throwing this together and it will be done, okay? Okay, because I love pepper so much, I'm gonna add just a little bit more pepper to the sauce. Okay. Mm. Smell the onions cooking with the butter. Okay, so our potatoes have one minute left, so we're going to strain them. Just gonna finish up our white sauce here. Mix it up. I'm gonna turn the heat off. Okay. I'm gonna add two shakes of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Gives it some great flavor. Oh, a little more than two shakes, I guess. Add as much as you want. Don't add this at all. It just really gives it a really good flavor, in my opinion. To this, we are going to add all of the cheese that we just shredded. Okay, heat off. Two cups shredded cheese. Shred it yourself. Get a bag of shredded cheese, up to you. I like sharp, extra sharp cheddar cheese is what I use. You can use whatever cheese you enjoy. Sharp extra is just my favorite. Extra sharp cheddar. Okay. Beautiful. I always feel like it's a good idea to let your potatoes for this to just sit for a minute and kind of um, steam up and kind of like dry out just a little bit, I guess is a word, dry out, I don't know. Okay, so we need a pan, nine by 13, okay. I work best when it's neat. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Maybe that makes me a bad cook because I like it neat, I don't know. Okay, I'm spraying my pan with Pam, because this can get messy. Okay, take your potatoes. Now your potatoes have been cooking. They are nowhere near done, but they are very close to being done, okay? They have some chew to them, but they're not gonna take as long and they're gonna soak up this sauce better than if they were raw, okay? So we're throwing all these potatoes in. I'm gonna add just a little bit of my salt, pepper, and garlic to the potatoes because we just want to, I know we flavored them with the bouillon, but I still want these flavored. Um, now we're gonna add our sauce onto the top. it all in together so everybody is happy here. Just make sure everybody's covered. Now, you can add cheese on the top of this. You can add breadcrumbs on the top of this. I think I'm just gonna leave it just like this. So, 325 for about 40 minutes, okay? I know your potatoes are half cooked, but Still gonna take about 40 minutes, okay? So, I'm throw it in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. 
Hey guys, our casserole, our scalloped potatoes is all finished. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The smell is so amazing. So, one more time. Three separate YouTubers are also doing potato dishes today. They're gonna to be posting their, their uh, videos today. So, the farming pastor's wife is going to do a twice baked potato casserole. So go check that out. All their links are going to be at the bottom in the description. The um, Art of Creation Homestead are going to do cracked potatoes. Check those out. I think those are gonna be really yummy. And super at 60, she is making something fancy. Darlene is gonna be making bacon potato cheese nests. Now I can't wait to see that one either. That might be very interesting. So check out Darlene at super at 60, Jason and Angela at Art of Creation uh, Homestead, my timer. And of course, please, Check out Leslie at The Farming Pastor's Wife. And one more, <laughs> Remy's Rag Boutique. She, this is a college student trying to make some money. She has made the most adorable little dog um, bandanas with matching ponies. This is $12, guys. $12 to help a hungry <laughs> college student. And you don't even have to get the pony. You can just buy the bandana. She has all different fabrics and all different sizes. Okay, guys. So that's all my plugs for today. I'm going to try this scalloped potato. So I've been ha I have a ham cooking that I've had cooking all day. I have a little side of asparagus that I'm going to take with it. So I'm going to take this. It stopped bubbling, so it won't burn my mouth off. This is gonna be good. The smell. Okay, and I love that it's a little brown on top. Make sure you wait for it to get a little brown. Potatoes are perfectly cooked. Uh, 40 minutes, 325. I just don't wanna burn my mouth. Mm. It's potatoes. I think it really helps to cook them beforehand. That little kick of hot sauce helps and that cheesiness and the creaminess. Guys, you gotta try this recipe. So, as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you know when all my videos are posted, and give me a big fat thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks so much, guys. And please don't forget to check out all the other YouTube channels that are collaborating and doing the potato dish today. Thanks guys.